Hi guys, it's John here with another video and today we're going to be looking at setting up Lineage OS on our Raspberry Pi here so that we can download some Android apps and get them earning us some money. So this is my old SC Prime Miner which I've migrated away from. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 in a nice little case here and basically I thought rather than just have it sat there doing nothing we should install some apps on here to make us some more money. Now these are all apps that I'm currently using and I will go through them shortly. They don't all make the same as each other and some are better than others, but the trick here is to have as many apps as possible that obviously it all adds up in the long run. So for this video, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi. You're going to need a micro SD card. I've got 128 gigs here. You don't need one that big, really. You could probably get away with a 32 gig card if you wish. I've got the card reader here as well, which we'll use to flash the Lineage OS. And you are going to need a micro HDMI cable here to get a video output from your Pi because otherwise you're not going to be able to see what's going on. So I've put links to these in the description if you want to pick any of them up. Hopefully the Pies are back in stock now. They were when I last checked, but I know they have been quite hard to get hold of recently. You could get away with a Pi 3, 3B on this, I would say. But if you can get a Raspberry Pi 4, it will perform better. Not necessarily earn more money, but it will perform better when you're using it. So anyway, we'll move over to the PC now and we'll see what apps I'm thinking of installing. Then we'll go through the install, but we'll go through it together and you should be up and running in not too long. Okay, so here are the apps I am going to be installing on my Raspberry Pi. We've got Honeygain, so this is one that I've been using for many months now. And I know that you can't use the content delivery on Android, but it's still worth setting this up on the Raspberry Pi because not everyone has a PC or a computer that they can leave on 24 seven. So having a Raspberry Pi, which only uses a couple of pounds or a few dollars of electric each year is quite a good one to have. So we'll have Honeygain. We'll also have a new one that I've been trying out here called peer to profit and this is very similar to Honeygain. They offer traffic to CDNs and other big companies which use them for ads and videos. And you can see here I've made over five dollars already on this. I haven't been using it that long now. Let's see if I can have a look. We can see, here we go, this is a week basically. So I've had this installed on my two different IPs that I've got and they've between them made $5.58. So not a massive amount. I'm not going to be getting any Lamborghinis anytime soon, but the point is here is that we're going to be adding up our honey gain, our peer to profit. And the last one here at the moment is called earn app. So this is nowhere near as good. This has been running a lot longer. I've had this for a couple of weeks now and I've only made $1.41. But again, like I said, that added on with the $6 from, or the $5 from here, along with the honey gain, which gets me about at least $20 per month with my active devices here. I do get some additional because of all of the referrals, obviously. So there are referral links to all of these different apps in the description. You don't have to use them. If you do, I do obviously get a percentage of the bandwidth that you generate. As you can see here, referral links get 50% of their income on this one here. And the Earn app, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go, you get 10%. So you don't have to. You could just go to earnapp.com and sign up. But if you do want to support the channel, you can use my affiliate link, which is obviously down below. Same goes for this. You could just go straight to peertoprofit.com, download the app and get it done. Honeygain, you probably should use my link on this because it does start you off with $5 of credit. So that is actually worth using. But yeah, the other two, you don't really have to. But uh, if you did, or if you do, that's much appreciated. But anyway, let's go on with the install. What we need to do first is download Lineage OS for Raspberry Pi. So to do that, we're going to use the version here that has been made by Constacang. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. What we do here is just select devices and go to Raspberry Pi 4. You could use Raspberry Pi 3, like I said, but 4s are obviously more powerful. Now, at the time of writing, Android 11 is the latest OS that the open Google app supports. Let's just double check that. So we can see here the ARM version does support Android 11. It does have some minor issues still, though, it says. We can have a look at those. So you could download the version for version 10. I'm going to go with 11, as I think that's probably going to be absolutely fine for mine. But what we're going to do first, obviously, is flash the Lineage OS onto our SD card. So we're going to go for the version 11 here, 18.1. Click on that to download. So that's downloading now. So what we'll do now is we will pop the micro SD into our card reader. We'll get this into the computer and then we'll get it flashed with the operating system. That's going to take some time to download. So what I would recommend you do is download the Raspberry Pi imager. So you can download this from the official Raspberry Pi website. Click on download for Windows, obviously your OS of choice. 
And this is what we're going to use to actually flash the micro SD card. Okay, once that's done, click on open, click on yes, click on install, and then we click finish to run it. And we now have our Raspberry Pi imager here. So now what we're going to do is just wait for this to download. And once it's done, we can select it here, choose the storage, and then get it written to the micro SD. Okay, so our download has finished. So we're going to just click on open file. And this is the disk image that we want to keep. So let's minimize this. We'll just drag it onto the desktop here. So that's just unzipping currently. So what we're going to do whilst that's happening is go to choose OS. And we're going to say use a custom image from our computer. Now we're going to browse to the image that we're just unzipping here. So I've got it on my desktop. Okay, and now it's finished. We can click on the image. This is from today. So click on open. Now we need to choose the storage that it's going to be flashed to. So we're going to click choose. We can see here our 128 gig USB and then click on right. Click on yes to continue. Now just wait until this has completed and then we can go and proceed with the next step. Okay, so now our card has been flashed. We're going to pop it into our Pi. We're going to get connected with the HDMI cable here. Get it powered up and I'll start recording the screen on this and then we'll go through the setup and how we can actually get Google Play installed on this. Right, so we are on our welcome screen here. So I've got my keyboard and mouse plugged into here so I can actually uh, use the system. So we're just going to click start here. We just need to go through the initial setup. Now don't forget, because this is Android, you will have to use your mouse a bit differently to a PC. So I'm clicking and holding to drag things here. So this is Lineage OS and you can see it's very basic. Obviously to start with you just come, it just comes with these apps here. So what we want to do is download the Google apps and get them flashed onto here. So we're gonna open the browser. So we want to look for open G apps and click on opengapp.org and this is where we're gonna download our Google Play. So we know we've got a Raspberry Pi with a 64-bit processor, so we've got ARM64 selected. We know we've got Android 11, and the variant we're gonna download is the Pico version here. So you'll have ARM64, Android 11, and Pico. So click on the download button, click on try to download anyway, click on allow, click on download. We see that's downloading here. So with GApps downloaded, what we need to do now is go into our settings. So just pull up from the bottom, click on settings, and we need to find the power menu. So let's just type in here, power menu, and then we're gonna click on advanced restart here, and we're gonna enable the advanced restart. So this is just gonna bring up an extra menu in our reboot menu. So what we need to do now to restart the Pi or the OS is hold down the F5 key. And when you do that, it brings up the sort of power menu options here. So we're going to click on restart, and then we're going to restart into recovery. So on the team win section here, we're going to click on mount. We're just going to mount everything that is available. And then select. Select the internal storage here, click OK. Click on back. Now we're going to click on install here. So we want to find the open G apps that we downloaded earlier. We're gonna select our zip file. We're gonna untick this. So nothing's ticked here. And then we're just gonna to swipe to the right here or click and hold, swipe to the right to confirm the flash. Okay, so once the install has finished, what we're gonna click is wipe and Dalvik. So click on here and then just slide that to the right as well. Now we're gonna click reboot system. And this is going to reboot the Pi and bring us back into the Lineage OS. Okay, now when we swipe up here, we should see that the Play Store has been installed. So now we can click on here and obviously we're going to sign in with our account, get some apps installed, and then we'll be up and running. So let's download Honeygain. And we can see here it's detected us as Android, so we're going to download the Android version and click download. So for peer to profit, we can get that from the Play Store. So let's install that. And at least then it will be kept up to date with the latest version. So let's install that one there. Okay, so Earn App isn't in the Play Store. So let's sign in with our Google account. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is currently available. Let's just double check. Okay, so it's not currently available at the time of writing 
but once it is you'll be able to just click on here and install that as well. So let's check our Honeygain download. You can see the download is complete, so let's open that up. Click on settings to allow the browser to install apps from unknown sources. Click on back. Click on install for Honeygain, and then we can click on open. Agree to the terms of use. Skip the intro. We'll click on yes here, not that we've got any mobile data, so just click on done. So we need to disable battery optimization and then always let Honeygain run in the background. So click on allow. Okay, now you can actually log into your account. So click on sign up and log in with your details. So mine's currently paused at the moment because I already have four devices on my home network here running, but we can see it's installed nicely and it is running. So we'll minimize this now and go back and we'll install the peer to profit and we'll log into that. Click on start earning and sign in with your details. I'll just sign in with my Google account. And we'll tell it to allow to run in the background. Let's have a look at the other optimizations we can disable. So here we go, we can turn on restart. It's already active, so that's fine. And the background restrictions are also disabled. So we've got both of those running now. So let's just go back and we'll have a look at our status bar here. Okay, so we can see Honeygain and Peer to Profit are both running. So hopefully EarnApp will also appear soon. But now we've got our Raspberry Pi running these two at least and any more that we can find in the future, we can either just install from Google Play or download the APK and install. And our Raspberry Pi can now just sit quietly somewhere unobtrusive and just start printing us some money. So there we go, we've got our Raspberry Pi set up now. I can go and pop this in my cupboard under the stairs along with everything else. And it's just gonna sit there and gradually earn some passive income whilst I'm asleep. Now, like I said, it's not gonna make huge amounts of money. It's gonna make maybe a few dollars a week but a few dollars a week is better than zero dollars a week. If you know of any more Android apps you want me to try out and add on to this Pi, then I, I'm all ears because this can sit and run as many apps as I want really. And potentially I could build another one and stick it on my other internet connection. But yeah, this is just a nice, cheap and simple way of setting up a sort of dedicated device to earn some passive income. Hopefully the Earn app will also appear on Android again very soon. It doesn't earn a huge amount, the Earn app, but it would be nice to have on there as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like and subscribe. So I do have some affiliate links down below in the description. You don't have to use them, obviously. It's just helping out the channel if you do, and it is much appreciated. But feel free, just go direct to the sites and get the apps yourselves. I do, however, recommend you use the Honeygain link because that does give you $5 in your account straight away, which is definitely worth having. If you do have any questions or comments, do leave them down below and I do my best to answer them. If this video helped you, do consider liking and subscribing and you can click the join button as well, which really helps out. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.